Well, Muna Al Tahawi is an Egyptian journalist and commentator who was detained and beaten by Egyptian security officials in Cairo last month, and she joins us now from New York. Muna, so first of all, insofar as you can tell, these security forces who were doing this beating up of the protesters, is it the police? Is it the army? Is it both? Well, you know, it's interesting, Zainab, because this time around, the police say we had nothing to do with it. This is all the army. And when I was taken in in November, the army told me we had nothing to do with it. This was all the police. And at the end of the day, we have to remember who's in charge. It is Field Marshal Tantawi and the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. So I hold them ultimately responsible. And I think it's high time we began talking about putting Tantawi and his forces on trial for crimes against humanity, for breaking my arms, for breaking other Egyptians' arms, for sexually violating Egyptian women and men, and for using sadistic violence against dozens and hundreds of protesters across the country. I mean, we were all struck um, when we looked at pictures of the young woman who's lying on the ground with her underwear exposed. And um, that has triggered a great deal of debate, hasn't it, in the Arab media in particular, about how these protests and the response by the authorities is actually breaking the social norms that uh, Egyptians are accustomed to. Absolutely. It, it's horrifying to watch what happened to her. But I think that if there's anything positive that's come out of it, it's that it's finally destroying this denial about the systematic abuse of sexual violence by various regimes in Egypt against women especially. Mubarak used this in 2005. The military used this in March when they um, imposed so-called virginity tests on female activists. I was sexually assaulted when I was taken in, and we saw what happened to this woman and other women over the past four days in Egypt. This is a great turning point in Egypt now where we can turn to the regime and say, part of this revolution is fighting not just your brutality, but also making it very clear that but, you must not give this green light that my body is fair game. Because when they violate women like this, and they strip women like this, and when they have their hands all over my body and on my breasts and in between my legs, they're basically saying that they own my body. They do not. And this is part of our revolution. Okay. Unless we fight for this personal revolution, the political revolution will not succeed. We're very here to hear about uh, what happened to you. But Munna, when the military council, at least the spokesman, says, look, some of these protesters are really intent on destabilizing the country, there are those Egyptians who do say, look, we want life restored to normal now. The military have given us a timetable when they're going to hand over power and so on. Fair point or not? The, the military has lied on just about everything that it has, has promised the Egyptian people. The only concessions that we have got in Egypt since we got rid of Mubarak in February were concessions that followed street protests. And so most people who support the revolution simply don't trust the military. I understand that not all Egyptians support the revolution or are, are out on the street, but we have to get the message across to them clearly that the military is not to be trusted. And at the end of the day, who is going out there and breaking people's bones and shooting them dead and, fi and firing rubber bullets? It's the military. The military has the power. The military is aided by governments from across the world, including the US government here. I'm also a US citizen. So we have to put the blame clearly where it belongs. The military runs the country. The military is doing a terrible job. Tantawi and his soldiers and his generals must step aside. They must be held accountable and they must be accused of crimes against humanity. Muna El-Tahawi in New York, thank you very much indeed for joining us.